Guys, that's what we're into right there. Look at these jumbos. I don't, I don't know, I'm hoping you guys can see them at home, just how big they are compared to my hands. They got little eyes, little heads, but tons of meat on them, tons of gut to them. Probably full of eggs, these two females here. We still got some on the screen. Yeah, look at these. This this one's probably 12 and a half. This one's probably 13 and a half. So those are probably both 13, 13 14 yeah. range. Look at those. Main pan fishing. Pretty phenomenal. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So Good morning. It is a chilly one this morning. We're looking at 13 below. It was 11 degrees in here when I woke up. I got a little fire going and got the coffee pot going. Uh, pretty cold. Yeah, decent night of sleep. You know, no wind, fairly quiet. But once that wood stove went out, it was pretty cold because I was stripped down just in my boxes, in my sleeping bag, and then you know, it gets, gets cold when it's 13 below. Everything's frozen in here. I'm trying to thaw out a couple eggs on the wood stove, next to the wood stove to have for breakfast this morning. Um, yeah, coffee's going. I made that pot last night, which I'm glad I did because it would have been hard getting water out of a frozen jug this morning. I know that first cup of coffee's gonna taste pretty darn good. Hopefully it doesn't crack my mug. My mug's pretty cold too. I don't know if I should warm my mug up on the wood stove or what. Let's let's pour a little and see what happens. Hopefully it's pressed long enough. Oh yeah, it's looking good. I'm gonna let it perk even more. I don't mind extra strong coffee on a day like today. It's supposed to warm up into like the twenties today. But that could be 2 o'clock before it warms up to that. I got a little bit of a snowmobile ride this morning to get to my buddy CJ's house. Um, yeah, it's going to be fairly cold. 13 below with no wind is way better than like 0 with 20 miles an hour wind. Or even 13 above with 20 miles an hour wind. So we're happy about that. Might be a pretty dry breakfast with sausage and toast this morning if those eggs don't thaw out. We'll see. Oh, nice. Oh, no, not nice. <laughs> it is partially thawed. I don't know. Definitely gonna have the yolk broken on this one. Ugh. I think it's thawing out. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Yeah, it's thawing out a little bit. about these eggs <laughs> oh man we'll give them a try
I think it's going to be all right. Let's try another one. <laughs> well, let's we'll see if this stuff rolls. No. Nope. Wow, 13 below zero. 13 below and Frank's doesn't freeze. Definitely gonna need something on them eggs today. Let's see how them frozen eggs are. Yeah, not great, but better than not, no eggs. Let's see if she starts. That's for the cold start from what I've been told by one of my viewers that helped me out. Let's try it. <laughs> Never gets old. Never stops putting a smile on my face. 13 below, she cranked right over.
that's good because I don't know if I could have could have pull started that this morning. Well, let's let that baby warm up, get dressed, and head over. Kind of wish I brought my helmet for this ride. I think I left it in the truck. That's gonna be cold face. Today I got the flag chaser pants on, which I'm really loving for travel and quick days. And not too bad of weather, even though I fished pretty cold the other day. I'm gonna put the roughneck bibs right over those flag chaser pants, so I ain't gonna be cold. I know that. Just a jacket over a sweatshirt, I think it's gonna be good today. <clears throat> My boots had frozen to the floor. I guess 13 below is pretty serious. When you're out here in a tent. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Been trying out a new coffee these last couple trips. Really enjoying it, it's strong. But kind owners of Mainly Coffee sent me a really nice gift pack. And this one's Brazilian pea berry. It has notes of uh, chocolate, dates, and a warm spice. And it looks like it's for a percolator grind because they know I, I cook a percolated coffee. So really strong I gotta figure out the mix so I gotta just take her down one notch probably but today is a great day for a hot strong cup of coffee to drive right into you that's good all right I might even wear gloves today for the ride. Okay, that was a chilly ride. We made it. We made it. Uh, we loaded up and we are going to go after yellow perch today. We're going after jumbos, you know. I guess, I guess you can say I consider anything over 12 inches a jumbo, 13 inches. So if we can get something over 13 inches, you know 13 13 and a half that's that's pretty sweet and we're going after numbers of perch too so we feel like bending the pole today it's cold enough we'd like to get some some action on a cold day you like to get action you hate just sitting there and thinking about the cold so what do you think bud we're gonna get some action today that day to be whatever it is that we decide to <laughs> i was thinking maybe yellow perch to start yep and then we'll see how we do it's yellow big yellows and uh crappy in that place we're gonna oh go no right kidding now, so. okay cool yeah hopefully I'll, they keep our hands warm you know yeah no kidding <laughs> i was telling the folks at home i i think i consider like a 12 and above jumbo i don't know i don't know yeah. if there's like a number or what i don't know yeah. i get it from you <laughs> <laughs> so 12 and above 13s are definitely jumbo and anything over that staven staven yep. jumbo we got one out of there or the client the other day 14 and a half could you guys imagine a 14 and a half inch yellow perch? Maybe we'll get one today, we'll see. All right, come along, we're pretty pumped. It's starting to warm up a little bit. It's 11 below zero right now. You know it's cold when I go to dump out my pee jugs in the morning and they're frozen already. <laughs> Do what now? Okay. Look at that, they're gone already. I got three or four. 
These are yellows the way they're moving. Oh, there's the school. Oh, here comes another school. Here they come. Got one on me. Got one on. That didn't take long. That feels pretty decent too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, nice yellow. Look at that. Look at that yellow. Nice one. You hooked up? Wow, that's a beauty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight striper. He's over a foot long. You got a jumbo too? Yeah. That one. Chomped it. Oh yeah, that's a nice school. Yeah. 100 miles an hour, aren't they? Eat it. Here comes a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Holy crap. We got a school coming in. Oh yeah, this is going to be double down here. They saw you. Oh, you look, one's good. Yeah. I'll hold in there. You yep. hit the other one. They're, they haven't quite made it to me yet, but they're getting there. Oh, they saw me. Bite it. Oh, the jumbo but no. Nice. Hold that up for the camera. Ugh. Nice big jumbo. One bread. Bite it. I'll let him go to you. I'm trying. Huh. Go ahead if you need to. <laughs> froze to my glove froze to the ice yeah still probably 11 below everything's still frozen uh, oh that feels pretty decent Ooh. <laughs> i don't know if it's because my re reel's frozen your beard's frozen pretty good <laughs> <The old shit. laughs> look at the fight on this one dude oh, oh my god look at the size jungle. of that one Oh my god, these are mega jumbos. Dude, <laughs> seriously, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Holy cow. 13. 13? Yep. Small one. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this guy. Because stomach came out. Show the camera. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good yellow perch right there. We ain't in North Dakota, we're in Maine, and that's a yellow perch. Yeah, the key right now, as they're coming in, is making sure everything's working on your gear. Yeah. Not froze up too bad. Guys, we got seriously cold temperatures. We're in about, probably still 11 below zero. Everything's just freezing up. I'm so glad there's no wind right now. There's just a breath of wind, that's it. Otherwise, I don't even know if we'd be able to stand it without gloves on, wet hands. We got a couple sliding in on us. These don't look like the Giants, but I don't mind, do you? Nope. We got five topside already. We're going to try to count today. I got two, you got three, I think, right? Yeah. You're about to get number four. Maybe. Come to me now. You got to eat. You eat. 
when the body eaten? turns like this, yeah, you know they're eating. This is another decent man. I don't think he's as big as the last one. He just started giving up. Oh, it's crap. Another big bear. Another, another nice yellow. He must have eaten that bait head first. Wow, that's another good one. 12 or like the small ones are 12 inches. Yeah, that's the small. The smalls are 12. Yeah. <laughs> that's not terrible. Jeez, that looks round to me. Yeah, it does. We're gonna find out what it is. It doesn't feel big yet. Now he's fighting. Feels like a whoa, nice yellow. <laughs> big yellow. Wow, big lone yellow. <laughs> Huh, that's weird. Yeah, that was kind of weird. He came in. He acted all oh, sorts of holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll show the folks at home this one, but then I gotta get back to it. Oh, they're taking off. Look at that big oh, yellow. Get back here. Oh, they're taking off. They were in the mud the whole time. That's why we weren't seeing them. Should I let them go? Yeah. Jeez, they took it off. That was freaking charming. That was crazy, huh? That school just came flying out of the mud. Yeah, once you get him wound up, there's still something. There. So we know they're there at least. There's one bite. Oh, you hit me. Ah, come stay on. Stay with us, stay with us, second one. He's coming, he's gonna eat you. I got so much slack in my line, I don't know what's going on. Ice? Do I have one? Oh, he dropped it. They haven't seen me yet. This guy saw me. Oh yeah, you got you. Yeah, I flew by that one up. I'm so frozen. Look at all the ice on my oh line. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fighting unbelievable. Big jumbo. Holy cow. Yeah, big male. Oh, he's got a line. Whose line is that, yours? Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah. We can fix that. <laughs> there we go. All right, another nice 12 incher. It's actually a male. Yeah, look how fat they are, dude, when they're pooping coming up. Mm. Weather like this, it's just a challenge to get your gear working. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> look at you. That one's done. This is what your odds. What happened? I'm just so frozen. Oh now. my god, look at all that ice. There's <laughs> <laughs> all the line coiled up out there. Holy cow. Leave that one in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> that a boy. Nice. Good one? Feels good. I'm gonna try to hold him here. Get that other spool to come over. Gaining much on him. Nice one. Yeah, number eight. Good one. I can't believe him. Other ones didn't come over. I know what. Twelve. Yeah, he's right in that range. Maybe just under, but maybe not. Oh, missed him. He must have. You want me to hold him? him? Hold him just for a second. Oh, they're coming up with him. Yeah. They're going to you hard. Oh, they, I'm good, man. Yeah, you should be good. Wow, look at the tug on this guy. Oh, look at the school with him. Yeah. Look at the tug. This is the mega school. How big are they? Oh, yeah. They're big. There's number nine for the day. That's a jumbo. Stuck on the ice. That's a jumbo. Let's get him back down. Oh. I have no idea what's going on. I'm stuck on the ice. Shoot. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have released him. Shoot, get down. I can't. I'm no, me. I'm oh. talking. Dang it. The last one. Does he see me? Oh. That friggin' one. Oh. Oh, yeah. He's coming. He back. saw me. Oh, I lost him. No, I got him. 
Oh, my, I'm all jammed up. Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, I got one coming. I'm going to have to hold this guy no matter what because I'm wrapped around the side. Of, there we go. All right. You want me to hold him? No. no. I don't even see where I am. This is number 10. Another big one. Oh! <laughs> All right, look at the size of that one, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at that. Mama. That's a jumbo. Yeah, it is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all over you. Oh, they're here. Yeah, they're here that fast. He's on you hard. Got him? Yeah. Good one, I think. Looks good. That looks real good. Well, he's not pulling like I thought he would. Yeah. Good one. I got one near me, but it's tiny. Oh yeah, look at that jumbo. <laughs> Hold on, let me get a picture of that one. Oh, I gotta catch this one first. You got one coming up to the hole, look at yeah. him. See him? Top right of the screen. Alright, we got a double. He was like chasing that one. I got a small one. Well, I thought this one, yeah, I thought this one was small. Alright, that's number 12. What am I doing? as big as those ones I don't believe you but might have to just oh you got a nice school there yeah I don't even know how that happened we just, uh, let's see you might just have to weed through them I'm try to keep them here they're skirting a little bit is he come on You don't mind if I crowd you, do you? No. Oh, this one's better. A lot better. Oh, these are bigs. I'm holding them while you get down here. I'm going. They're big. Yeah, I'm down. Nice. He choked it. Oh, they left. Dang it. Oh, man. Nice. Another one. jumbo. Number 13? Yep. I got one under me. I hate to let them go that quick, but I don't think they're going to live if we no. Couple good ones there. Yeah, hold on, I'll get a picture with my camera too. All these ones are on me now, but there's definitely a big school coming. Yeah, oh, see yeah, the school yeah. coming? Yeah. yeah. Those are good, because then look how high they are. Holy shit. Dude, I don't know what they are. You might want to drill a hole. <laughs> this is for real. This is the one I was looking Dude, at. Dude, this is for real right here. Those are all big. Every one of those is big. Here we go. I think he, I, think, I couldn't tell if that was a hit or you. Probably me. <laughs> it's alright. Oh man, they're spooked as soon as I set on them. You think they'll come back? I don't know. The other day they would just chase each other around. I'm holding them. There's still one on the screen, so you can, you can probably get that other one. I guess. That's a good one. Yeah, they're still there. Oh yeah. All right guys, there's another one. I'll hold them until you get hooked up. Oh yeah, there they are. Why aren't they even? Hit it on the up. 
Oh, whoa. Yeah, I don't know if I should drop or not, because he's... Is that a perch or a bass? I don't know. He's taking the whole school. There he is. You got him turned. That's big, whatever it is. Could be a really big perch. Yeah, oh, that's a jumbo. <laughs> Show the camera that one. I hope that was rolling. Yeah, I'm rolling. He took, he ran so far, he took the entire school with him over there. Show him, show him mine. Mine's a good 12 incher, and then show him yours. <laughs> <laughs> the two big jumbo parts right there. That one's got to be close to 14. Oh yeah, I'd say all of 14. 1.15 pounds. Wow. Not far from the state record. <laughs> Keeper size, ain't it? Yeah, you got a couple on you. Oh my God, look at the school. Oh, right out of his mouth. Got him. Jeez. Jeez. Do I even got a lure? Jeez. Holy shit. This is a good school too. Please be crappy, that'd be cool. No, they're... Are they yellow? Yeah. Oh, he's fighting like he's yellow. Jeez. Sorry. Oh, oh God. Whoa. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and he weren't even one of the big ones. Are they still there? Uh, nope. Oh, no. Tanker perch is what they call these. Dude, that's over 12 inches easy. Yeah, you want to fumble it? No. No, I know he's 12. There you go. Sounded good. I'm holding them here. No, go ahead, go ahead. What it, well, do whatever you want to do. I'll hold them right here. Not jumping, but he's still there. Still, 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 yeah. I'm moving a little bit, but he's sticking around. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Nice. They're still here. I'm not putting them back. We'll put them back in there. Just one more. We found them. Yep. I can't believe it, Marty. We found them. <laughs> Missed them. Ooh. Jumbo. One right after another. That. Oh my God. Show that to the camera. Oh, that jumbo right there. That's what we're after, buddy. There's a pile of them below us. I don't want to let them go. Still there? Oh, yeah. This is quick as you can put it down. I don't know. Oh. You hooked on the ice? No, I got you. Oh. You bring them up. You, you got everything. You got the transducer. <laughs> I got you, transducer. All right, I'm out. Do you have me? No. Oh. Oh, it must have just popped off. Not a nice bird, though. Beauty. Hold him. Oh, you got him? There you go. They're still there. Another nice one. 13 inch range, wouldn't you say? Oh, 13 plus. <laughs> All right, I see me now. Oh yeah, they're all over there. Boom. We found the school. This is the school we've been looking for. We got the mega school, finally. Look at them chase you up. They could even, they could get less about me right now. Yeah, we'll, oh, another jumbo. Holy moly. We'll tell the folks at home. We'll tell you guys what we actually found over here, why this school is here in a little while. Another right jumbo. now we're having a little bit oh my god <laughs> dude they're like hitting like under the ice right now yeah they are everywhere i'm like wait i'm i'm look at this i'm right here under the ice 
Oh my god, look at this bend. I can't even. Oh, look at this bend. <laughs> look at this jumbo. Look at that jumbo. Oh, wow. That's a good one. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. I'm not even six feet under the ice. Right? No, me neither. You got him coming into the hole. Look at this. I probably got one already. I'm in the hole. We're in 20 foot of water. This one. No, that big. Well, no. So that's not a bad one. Nope. I'd help you, but I gotta get this guy first. <laughs> I was about to help you. Which way does he go? Uh, there you go. Oh my god, look at this. Look at that fatty. That's a big man. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at how fat that one is. Oh, they're not leaving, Joe. We're gonna eat good. Oh, you wanna let something go? What do you want? It's your, it's your know, lake, so I don't, I don't care. I don't know what to do right now. It's your lake, I don't care what we do. All right, you get one on, and then I'll start sliding. These Got him. And just hold him? Uh, yeah, you hold him. Okay. Uh, two, three. Four. We were at, oh my god, look at the size five. of this one. Dude, these things are all like pound and a half, two Six. pounds. Seven. Look at how fat around these guys are. <laughs> oh my god, we found the mega Eight. school, guys. The Seven. bottom is, uh oh, we gotta keep them here. See the bottom's sliding on us? Yeah. We gotta catch one more. Okay, they're good, we're good, we're good. What did I just say? Eight. Eight. So that's 29, 30 right there that we've caught. 30 and it's about to get even crazier. There it is. Got him. Got him. You better get that. I'll, I'll handle this school. You better get that. Ah, leave me alone. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I still got it. Oh yeah, I yeah. do. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Half the school's gone, and we still have 50 fish there. Oh yeah. Guys, this is the school we've been after all day. CJ knew about this school. He found him the other day, probably a half mile from here. Wow, look at the fight on this guy. These yellows are just nothing but shoulders and guts. Oh my god, look at this guy! Jumbo City, I got your lure too. Oh, okay, I thought so. <laughs> he ate both of them. He ate both! Look at that, he ate them both! <laughs> you gotta show that one to the camera. <laughs> look at that, double, double Wonder, Wonder Bread. bread. <laughs> look at that, he ate them both! <laughs> I don't know what all these marks are. Is that maybe from where you measured them the other day? No. On a... No. They all got this. Keep them. Oh, they're sliding left. They're sliding left. We gotta get, we gotta get one back. I got a lot going on here. Okay, I got. I'm in front of one. As long as we can get them back. Yep. We're losing them. I'll keep them pegged. Oh, as soon as I was in. <laughs> You're still in my hole. <laughs> There's a couple still on the screen, but not many. Oh. Look at this jumbo. Every one of these. This is incredible. I'm hoping that camera's pointed down low enough to see these. All right, we still got some here. We're at 29. We still got, oh, you, you got them back. Oh yeah. This one, man, the smallest one's probably 12 and a half so far. Whoa, <laughs> it's slippery. He's down. <laughs> man down. <laughs> Come on. I was gonna move that camera down. Flopping around like a dolphin. Flopping around like a yellow perch on the ice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Double up. Double up, why don't you? Oh, this is giant. Yours is way better than mine, I promise you that. I'm gonna try to get him back before you get yours up. Oh boy, that's a pig. That, that is a pig. 
They're just eating this Wonder Bread. Oh, no, no, no. Shoot. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. No. Did I do the one? All right, we got one. We got one. Big one. Oh, giant. Big one. Hold them for a second. Yep, this is a big one. Yep, see how it's bringing them other ones back. Yeah, I'm going to hold them. Uh, Still holding them. Okay, I'm headed down. They're you, coming back. Can I bring them up? Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're coming back. Dude, this is another big one. Oh my god, that's the fattest one yet. Eat it on the drop. Wow. Fat, dude, look at that. <laughs> look at the fatness on this guy. I can't even move. Oh, he just came off. Oh, he broke me off. Really? Yep. Nope. That was a giant. Dude, look at this. <laughs> look at how fat that is. I gotta get a picture with that. Oh, come on. Come on. Hold on. I don't want to stop though. Come on. Yeah, I got him turned. Got one turned. I'm gonna set him there for a picture. That's by far the beefiest one yet. These are like pound and a halfers. Pound and a heifer. That's a little one. I don't know. He's digging. Yeah, he just got a little bigger. No. Oh yeah. Still. School's 11. completely gone, but uh, I don't think they'll go far. Guys, that's what we're into right there. Look at these jumbos. I don't. I don't know. If, I'm hoping you guys can see them at home. Just how big they are compared to my hands. They got little eyes, little heads, but. Tons of meat on them, tons of gut to them. Probably full of eggs, these two females here. We still got some on the screen. Yeah, look at these. This this one's probably 12 and a half. This one's probably 13 and a half. So those are probably both 13, 14 yeah. range. Look at those. Main pan fishing. Pretty phenomenal. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so hold that's That's what we've been looking for all morning. That's what we friggin' hunt for. That's why you work your ass off. It's 12 o'clock. Yep. We were here at 6.30, worked our butts off, and at 12.00, we just had like, from 12.00 to 12.12, we just had some of the best fishing in the state. <laughs> Maybe the country for yellow perch. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're only 60 feet away. 70. Sometimes the small schools are the biggest fish. Oh my God, dude. This one's by far fighting the hardest. Ho! Ho! Oh. one chasing. I want it, buddy. Chase it right to the hole. Oh, dude, <laughs> look at this. Oh, you can't not, look at that. Wow. <laughs> look at this one. Look. Oh. <laughs> you cannot tell looking down the hole by seeing their head or their eyes. Cause look, you can see them like that and then you turn them. Look at this. Yeah, it's huge. Gigantic slab yellows. Come on, come back. So a little tiny head. You're not sure, and then but donk but donk <laughs> uh, That's just an awesome yellow there. Beautiful colors on them. Just awesome fish. Super aggressive. Big school of these things. I don't know how anything survives in this body of water. They're eating a lot of leeches. They're eating a lot of bugs. They're eating whatever moves. That one sliding in on us. Oh, it's sliding underneath us. Let him go or? Yeah. Yeah, that one took off. Let's see where he goes. Megalodons. I don't even think these are jumbos. <laughs> really? Megas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just like launch. But the, the quantity and quality <laughs> is crazy. There you go. You got one. Got him. Got him. <laughs> he came. Whoa, whoa. Wow. I didn't see the size, did you? No, because he came up kind of. He came like straight up? Yeah. He's got a good fight to him. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. He choked that. I'm still on the Wonder Bread, if you guys didn't know. All right, here they come back. Another big male there. I mean, choked it. And I was on him. All right, here they come. You see him? Oh, yeah, they're coming back. That's a big, big yellow perch. Guys, sorry you had to watch all that earlier footage. Oh, nice. Whoa. Right? Whoa. 
I don't want to take that transducer out on this one. I'm trying to hold the score here, but. No, don't even worry, I'm already down. Digging. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these yellows. Man, this is crazy. CJ and I are coming to you from uh, Devil's Lake. No. Yeah, what's the, Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Yeah, what's the other one though? The one in Idaho that... Oh, I don't know. There's one in Idaho that's been like on fire for yellows. Look at the size of that thing. Guys, if you hate birch fishing and crappy fishing and all these junk fish, you don't know what you're missing. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. Oh, Cascade. Is yeah, the other like Cascade in, in Idaho or Iowa? Where's Cascade, guys? Sorry, I've never been to it. But there's a couple lakes that are like on fire right now for big yellow perch, and I don't know if they're doing this. Like I this is know. like 12 and a half are the smalls, 14 and a half are the bigs, and just numbers. Contrary to popular belief here in Maine, you wouldn't believe it, but most people don't think yellow perch are good eating fish. Uh, they'd rather eat like a stock brook trout, but for my money, yellow perch is right up there for a sweet, delicate, tasty fish. And that one's gonna eat pretty good. He was a bleeder, so we're not putting him back. We're not catching him very deep. We're in 18.9 foot right here, so nothing's getting uh, barrow trauma. They're all eight stripers in this lake. It's interesting. But that's just a beauty right there. Big, fat, yellow perch. A lot of meat right there. That'll be good vittles. Good eating. Hell yeah. They're delicious. Yep. Yeah. I actually, honestly, like them better than crappy. I, dude, I'm like back and forth on them. I think they're better. But a lot of times you can get a little bit better filet off of crappy. Yeah. No, I agree with that. But taste-wise. Yeah. Oh, taste-wise, they're sweeter. Guys, we are not on Cascade in Iowa. We are not on Devil's Lake in North Dakota. We're not on, I don't know who else has awesome, or Lake Erie is known for yellow perch. We are here in Maine. I'm fishing with my buddy CJ. He is a guide, Burnt Meadow Guide Service. He's probably one of the only fishing guides in Maine that specializes in live scope, forward facing sonar, and pan fish through the ice. Um, not taking anything away from any other guides, but I know he specializes in that and he's really, really good at it. And there's no one working harder than him to find these fish. We've been working since first thing this morning, whacking fish here and there, but this is what we're looking for was the mega school and we found them. It was so great to find them and work hard to get them. Don't be afraid to call CJ. I'll throw his info in my, in the description of this video and he still has openings for this year, believe it or not. And he'll definitely have openings for next year. If you guys want to catch the biggest crappie or yellow perch or even white perch, brown trout, rainbow trout, salmon of your life, give CJ a call and he's a blast to fish with. I choose to fish with him. You know, I could, I could fish with a lot of different people or I could fish alone and he's one of my absolute favorite people to fish with that I choose to fish with. So if you like this video, make sure you leave us a comment, make sure that you Show CJ a little bit of love at Burnt Meadow Guide Service or in the comments here. And we're going to get back to whacking them, guys. There's a school 70 feet over there. They were. I don't know. Did they move? A little bit. There's still a little bit over there. Well, there's a mega school here. And what I wanted to tell you guys earlier is, is how we found these fish. Is we're on this giant flat right here. Big shallow up there. Deep basin flat that comes in with nothing to hold them. And then we have an inside corner, maybe 100 feet that way so they're they're off that inside about a hundred foot and they're just sitting in this basin oh I finally got a bite at least there you go Good question, that's the question. They look like crappy. They act like crappy. But they had great big jumbo birds. What the Are hell? they really? <laughs>
That, that's as big as anything we caught today. Yeah, we hunted all morning for this. And we're catching. Trying to catch the crappie, but uh, still into the jumbo. Pretty good problem to have right there. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll go after the big crappie. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow, what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments if we should go after big crappy or do another day yellow perch back to back. I'm kind of leaning towards big crappy. What are you thinking? Crappy. Yeah, so that's what we're thinking, but we'll check out the comments first. But we're gonna go after some hard to catch crappy tomorrow and see if we can work together and figure them out and try to get those too. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for tuning into the fishing park, guys. There's still more camping park to come. I gotta see what I have for thawing out eggs and uh, cooking dinner tonight. All right, dinner time. We're gonna do something a little bit different for dinner tonight. We're gonna make a pizza in Donnie's oven on the wood stove. So we gotta get that wood stove cranking. Gotta get that thing up to at least 300 degrees, that Coleman oven. But first, as that's heating up, we're gonna put together this pizza. Let's go. I'll show you the ingredients that I like to use. All right, my favorite dough to buy is by this Portland Pie Company. And basil is one of the best ones, basil or garlic. I've already cut this one into about two thirds size of, of what it should have, what it is when it's full. So I'm gonna take, oh, about half of that. So that would be one third of a full one. It's not very big, but we're gonna do a nice little thin crust. And we're gonna seal that up. Maybe have some more. Another night this week. But she's pretty cold. She was. She was pretty well frozen, but she thawed out today. So we're gonna stretch that dough. I like a nice thin pizza and doesn't have to be very big. Stretch it by just slowly pulling it. Don't, don't rip it. Then you can get fancy and do the Italian flop, which is not just a soccer move. It's also where you, you do something like this. Woo, like that. And I don't know if that works or not. But my cousin owns a pizza parlor and I think he does stuff like that. But the thinner the better I think in that oven because we can't really get it up to five or six hundred degrees which is ideal for a pizza. It's pretty cold so it's not stretching too well. But we're getting it. Be a nice thin crust. All right, we just about got that right. And so it doesn't stick to, at least in the middle, we're going to do that. Give it a little spray and flop her down. Once you get her flopped down, you can spread her out even more. I like a nice thin crust pizza. All right, I think we got it spread out pretty good and pretty thin. There she is. Not quite round, <laughs> but that's all right. Now we're gonna put some sauce on it. All right, this is one of my favorite pizza sauce companies. This isn't my favorite one. My favorite one's actually basil or sweet basil because it has maple syrup in it and it's from Vermont. But this is Bove's and they make a great pizza sauce. They make two or three different ones. They make a red pepper, a basil, and a traditional. This is the traditional. It's very tasty.
All right, that's probably enough. Got a spoon. Get that spread evenly all the way around. That might be a little too much. If it is, you can use that spoon as a shovel and shovel some of it right off. Uh, we might leave it on there a little thick. All right, we're gonna try this Tillamook cheese. I visited the Tillamook Valley in Oregon once and stopped in and had some cheese and ice cream and it's this incredible fertile valley in Oregon. This is some big thick cut mozzarella. So that's the base le level, that's the base layer of cheese. Then we're going to put a little bit of Hannaford Brothers natural cheese or cheese pizza blend on there. I don't know what the four cheeses would be. Put a little bit of that on there just to fill the spots, fill all those voids before I fill my own void in my belly. All right, next step, before you put the toppings on, is to put the spices on. So let's dig some of those spices out. All right, pretty much the only two you need. One is oregano, I love oregano. So that goes on right after you get the cheese on. Don't be afraid to cover that baby right up. You'll get a little bit in your teeth, but don't have to worry about kissing anybody tonight because Donnie's not here. Then put some basil on there. Spread that basil on there pretty good too. Don't worry about getting any in your teeth. Now you can put your toppings on. The toppings for tonight are gonna be, we gotta have a little bit of pepperoni. Got some pepperoni and we're gonna take that we're gonna cut it let's uh let's cut it a couple times just because of how small this pizza is all right it's gonna make the pizza look a lot bigger cutting your pepperoni smaller trying to spread those all around pepperoni is pretty good to eat on its own, it's really good to eat with cheese, but it's really best on a pizza, I guess. All right, let's throw a couple portobello mushrooms on there. They're pretty well frozen, so I got a feeling they'll thaw out in that oven. Mushroom and pepperoni pizza sounds pretty darn good. Up in the woods, on the ice, cold, cold day on the ice after last night, waking up at 13 below zero this morning in the tent. All right, that's enough of that. And then I do have a leftover green pepper. She's kind of soggy, but I bet it cooks pretty good. So let's cut that baby up. It's kind of really soggy. They don't like being frozen. Oh Jesus, soggy and wet. All right, we'll just put a couple pieces of green pepper here and there. There you have it guys. While we're at it. A little bit of cracked black pepper on there. Say when. Say when. 
Okay, we are ready for the oven. Oh nice, we're up over 300. Beautiful. There's a heat indicator on that Coleman. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this without getting burned, which is always the plan. Ready? Go as quick as you can. Ah, she hot. Oh, maybe I should put that on the lower shelf, but we're gonna try it right there. All right, just so you guys can see that. I don't wanna open the door too long, but she's there, she's on like middle shelf. Man, we're gonna let it cook. Should smell pretty good in here pretty soon. Settings to get this winter well as hot as I possibly can are about two thirds damped in the pipe flue and actually closed on the front one. That little one in the front down there is fully closed, but it still can suck a little bit of air around and around and in the holes up top. So. We're at 300 now, I'm happy with that. If it's three, if it says 300 in there, it's a lot hotter than that. And now we wait. Gonna do a little reading while we wait. Uh, one of my viewers, really good subscriber, sent me a nice care package and in it was a book that I'm excited to read. It's called Wicked Pest, New England's Most Famous Feuds by Ted Reinstein. He was a reporter for Boston's celebrated news magazine, The Chronicle. The Chronic. Well, this is going to be pretty cool. Looks like it covers sports, pizza shops, uh, stores, and the Wright brothers. So I'm pretty excited to dive into that thing. Fascinating stories of the feuds and disputes that shaped New England. There's nothing, there's nothing quite like a good New England feud. All right, let's see how that pizza turned out. Here we go. It's quite warm in here. I got one of the windows open. Get a little airflow. Good problem to have. Let's go. Oh boy, that's looking beautiful. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Yeah, I think she's done. All right, dinner time. Coyotes are howling tonight. It's kind of a cool sound to go to bed to. Definitely gonna have to let this thing cool off a little bit. She is hot. Looks like you'd burn the roof of your mouth with that. Let's try it. Mm, that's good. Wow, that is tasty. Pretty darn good, guys. Never thought I'd be eating homemade pizza inside of the Eskimo tent on a wood fire inside a little Coleman oven. Pretty excellent. Easy meal, really. Delicious. Nice and crispy crust. Wow, it's good.